grief if you only could hear what goes on just before we turn the camera on. Okay. Well, Good this thing is, you can. I know. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. And today, I had a quiet day. Can you believe? That was a good thing. The weather wasn't the greatest. It was eh, windy. It was chilly. I don't, I don't remember it being sunny because my no, computer didn't have any no, glare no on it. No sun. Um, I did find some eggs under a silver fox. I had to have a, put a cap on her head again to get the eggs out. And I think I have now two little birds that like to lay green colored eggs unless one of them laid one last night and when I didn't know it, but I had already cleared everything out. I don't like this video. It's going not so good. <laughs> then start over. I'll start over. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting over. Um, um, very boring. Let's we'll stop it. Stop. Turn it off. Now we're doing take two. Monday, when I did meet, meaty Monday, and I did music Monday. Now my, I got a lot of comments that said they liked my playing. Really? You gotta be kidding. Um, but anyways. <laughs> I like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not very good. And the reason I do the playing is because I enjoy it. But if you've ever heard somebody that plays really good, which I have, and you always think you're going to do just as good, and you're not. But if you hear my lousy playing, you will um, feel like, gee, maybe I can do this, and you will do better than me, and that will encourage you to give it a try, because not everybody is good at this, as you could very well tell. So my reason for doing the little bit that I do is to encourage you to give it a try and see if you can do better because I know you can. You do very good. I do all right for just uh, tinkering around, but nothing, nothing good. Do a lot and the sad, and the sad part is, a lot of times you'll hear a song and you'll say, "Ah, oh, I gotta play that," and then you try and you find that you can't play it, but you play what you can play, and that's what I did. Um, also today, I had the grandkids over for a little bit. They came off the bus, and you know, they're always hungry when they get off the bus. And I was thinking, what can I give them? Because I really don't have any bread in the house. I don't have any cookies. I don't have any goodies. I don't have any goodies of any kind. I do have eggs, though. So I had, in the freezer, before I started keto, I had the um, hash brown potatoes I had bought. Because I thought, well, someday I'll make hash browns and with some egg and some kind of meat or something. And I never used it. And so I thought today, you know, I could give them the potato, make like hash browns with egg. And so that's what they had. And my granddaughter said, this is so good. She likes whatever I cook, it doesn't matter. She had a little ketchup with it. And my grandson who doesn't like to eat anything, he ate it and enjoyed it. And before we start, they always say, well, we can't just start because at my house, they always have to say grace. And so the little guy, he learned, he's learning that you say grace before you eat. And then you can eat. And then he says, I'm thirsty. And I says, well, that's nice. That's not how we ask, is it? No, you, you, I can say I'm thirsty too, but that doesn't mean you're going to give me anything. So he says, Nona, can I have some milk? I said, well, yes, you can have some milk. But you have to state, at my house, a lot of times kids will make these like general com general statements and the parents just take off and give it to them. At my house, they have to actually say, that they have to address somebody and request. And you can always get if you request, but you have to address and a request. I guess that's it for tonight. So if you want something in this world, Make sure you address and then request. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.